myxoid liposarcoma. Now that's myxoid liposarcoma, right? Look at how social distance is respected. <laughs> it's a joke that we wish were so not true, but it occurred to me one day when I was teaching during the pandemic, and I was like, oh, social distancing, it's been right there all along. Myxoid liposarcoma, no, but it's true though. And the reason it's important is there are other tumors that have round little cells and a myxoid background, but that tend to make clusters or cords or chains like chordoma or myoepithelioma or extraskeletal myxoid chondrosarcoma. Those have cells, usually bigger cells, and they stick together. This, the cells leave each other alone and they stay spaced out, okay? And these are the vessels of myxoid liposarcoma. Look at that. It's like one endothelial cell and that's it. That's the vessel wall. One endothelial cell. This, the vessel lumen is only big enough for the cells to go like single file. Like sometimes they look almost like a rouleau formation, right? Say right in, in myeloma, you know, where the, the little stack bikes all oh, look. See? It's like one endothelial cell at a time, single file line. That's how small the vessel should be in a myxoid liposarcoma. And you will see lipoblasts, but there'll be these little tiny cute lipoblasts, little little signet ring cells, or maybe bivaculated lipoblasts, not the ugly pleomorphic lipoblasts that you expect to see like in uh, pleomorphic liposarcoma. You will not see those. All the cells look the same. And why is that? Because it's a translocation sarcoma. All of the cells have the same abnormality, which is a fusion between the FUS, F-U-S gene, and the DDIT3 gene, which was formerly called CHOP. And sometimes it's Ewing's instead of FUS. And that's a good general rule for soft tissue pathology. If something has a Ewing's gene rearrangement fused with something else, one day someone will probably discover, well, occasionally these have FUS instead of Ewing fused. And the, the opposite is true because FUS and EWSR1 are similar types of genes and they perform a similar role. So a lot of things that have FUS will have an alternate fusion that has Ewing's and vice versa. So it's a general good rule. So if you're taking an exam for the junior people out there, your, uh, your guess should always be, if it's a molecular and soft tissue, guess EWSR1. That's usually right. And if it's an EWSR1 thing and they say, what's the alternate? Guess FUS because that will be right. Okay, that's myxoid liposarcoma. They often have these big pools of myxoid change. Sometimes it's so prominent like this. People have said that it looks like pulmonary edema, like in an autopsy lung, <laughs> right? That's been described as the pulmonary edema pattern. It's only a subset of cases have it, but it's a useful clue when you see it. And this case actually has also in addition to the conventional, typical pattern, areas here that are much more cellular and round blue cell in appearance. And when you start seeing the cells get bigger and touching and overlapping, this used to be called round cell liposarcoma. And the new terminology is high-grade myxoid liposarcoma. I still usually put in parentheses, formerly known as round cell because people understand that term. It's the higher grade version of myxoid liposarcoma. And usually when you have the round cell, I've occasionally seen times on a core biopsy where it really looked like a round blue cell tumor, but if you get enough of a sample, usually you will find in the background some myxoid change, some little tiny vessels, and if you get a big enough sample, you'll see areas in the background that look like obvious myxoid liposarcoma. So only on a small biopsy, sometimes it can present a mimic of Ewing's or some other round cell sarcoma. But usually, if you get a big enough sample, pretty easy to tell you're dealing with, with this. And also on imaging, myxoid liposarcoma has pretty distinct imaging radiographic characteristics. So oftentimes, a good, skilled musculoskeletal radiologist will know, oh, this is probably a liposarcoma, because they'll see the fat signal and the myxoid signal on, a, on an MRI scan.